Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Nolia. How are all my adventurers doing? Welcome back to another devlog. I know I said I was going to release a different video other than a devlog, but um, this one kind of was necessary to upload, along with something fun that happened to me earlier this week. <laughs> but that'll be later on in this video. But um, yeah, I've moved on to you today. Uh, RPG Maker XP has reached the limits of what I want to do for my game and it just won't do the ideas I have for the game so yeah I'm learning coding right now uh as you guys can see I am currently you know messing around getting my towel sets into unity I'm also going to be co coding movement as well I'm learning all of this from a from watching a youtuber called game dev experiments so yeah i'll be following his tutorial into each of my dev logs just you know experimenting and seeing if i can do the same thing towards their coding or if i can make my own type of things different from them obviously nothing will be the exact same as you know what they're doing I'll just be doing my own little experiments. Not only this, I can actually use a lot of my tile sets to their full potential. A lot of the tile sets that I haven't been able to use, at least, are going to be used in this, which is going to be great. And I just need to figure out like animations towards like water, stuff like that. Let's just say a lot more things will be usable inside of unity than it would be inside of ah, rpg maker i was enjoying rpg maker because it was like the most simplest thing to use because it had everything ready for you when it came to this i was just like okay i don't know anything about coding so i guess i'm gonna learn so i was looking around the internet you know picking up some details and stuff number one thing that's really annoying about this is top-down games and making controls for them because <laughs> you can just easily go into like a fps or first person thing and know you'll find a coding for it or you'll find like an asset for it as well easily but when it comes to top down you have to make your own coding and stuff like that you can make it as easy controls for like side scroller or yeah side scrolling game but top down is a lot more difficult, <laughs> apparently. And I chose to do the most difficult thing. <laughs> Unfortunately. But yeah, this, this is what we're going to be doing. <laughs> Test now good old Unity. Unfortunately. Anywho. Um, huh. But anywho, the story of what happened to me this week. So I almost for well, I almost ceased to exist this week. <laughs> I got in a car accident. I uh, put it inside of Discord explaining the whole story and everything. So I'll just give it pretty much just a short little story. I I almost disappeared from this planet. It wasn't even like my coworker, coworker's fault. It was literally just some idiot in front of us tailgating another person for no reason. Then they both stopped in the middle of a road over a hill. And you guys know if you drive, you know, you know, some of those random hills that you can't see over until you get over it are deadly. So yeah <laughs> that was a fun experience but the guy that we uh ended up hitting I, i'm just gonna put in like i said i'm just gonna put it in short summaries of it if you guys want to know the full stories and discords announcements but yeah but the guy that we end up hitting was pretty chilled and cool you know we were pretty much laughing and chilling about the whole thing at the end of the day and now my buddy is going through some like legal troubles because the places this happens the cops suck 
They they suck ass. I'm not gonna lie. The cops in that area fucking suck. They didn't do their job worth the shit. And it's only funny because a state trooper didn't want to do his job either. He was just trying to hurry up and leave. And I was just sitting there like, dude, wow. What what a cop. Great. Appreciate all the help. That sucked. But I'm all right. I'm chilling. Uh, I am not injured or anything like that. Just just a little bit of soreness in my knee, but I've always had soreness in my knee. It's just a little bit, you know, slightly more billable. So I took like a day off from work and just started chilling. Now I'm back to work and now I'm back to working on this and I am addicted. Um, oh yeah, news. I will be starting up my, uh, my old website again. What was it called? Websites creation site was like Wax, Wix, Wix, something like that. You guys remember it when I, well, some of you remember it. My OGs remember it when I had made Dragon Blaze or tried to make a Dragon Blaze tier list, but you know, just couldn't get enough help for it. <laughs> so I gave up on it. And this was around the time my channel had got, you know, hacked and taken over and spammed with a whole bunch of random Asian videos. <laughs> then I just was like, yeah, all right, dude. Yeah, all right. I'm not allowed to do any of this stuff, but you know, future. <laughs> yeah, I'm chilling now. Having fun. And coding. Um, but yeah, I plan on making well, turning that website into a roadmap and development progress, stuff like that. Is what I want to do. Hmm. Yeah, I could do that, actually. <sighs> a lot of coding went into this, as you guys can see. Just typical stuff. I should be asleep right about now, too. It's... <laughs> As I'm recording the second part of this video, as in the VTuber you see over the video. Yeah, this isn't real. This is just a time lapse over it. Um, it's like 8.15. Yeah, it's 8.50 p.m. I should be asleep before I have to go to work. So, um, yeah, another late night video that I'll wake up and upload to the channel. Uh, here. Actually, I didn't capitalize um, horizontal when I should have. I was supposed to capitalize it because it doesn't work if you don't capitalize it. And you guys will also see that I forgot the target position. That's like a few codes below it is still an X and not Y. So this is also another reason why my code isn't working. I slowly fix it throughout this video. <laughs> Me just sitting here confused, like, what did I do wrong? Did I do something wrong? Then I'm just casually checking all of my lines of code. Just trying to figure out what I did. And I overlooked. Yeah, I'm back at that area. Overlooked it. Do I figure it out here? I don't think I do. <laughs> no, I look past it again. There's also another line, that line that I just hovered is not right. It's either that or the one that's below it that's not right. Because there's an equal sign that shouldn't be in the area that it is in. <laughs> I'm over checking all my error, errors and warnings. I actually end up downloading um, Microsoft Visual Studio uh, 2019 like after this because it gives me more colors for all of my codes the process of changing unity to use that was pretty easy but I made it harder on myself than I needed it to be 
I tried to put in the code again just to make sure if it worked. It did not. Now I was playing with the settings just to see if it will zoom out. Because in my brain, I was thinking maybe I'm moving and the camera isn't sh is it moving. I'll figure it out here. Oh no, I continued on the code for the um, for turning off diagonal movement. And thankfully, I was taught that I could just sec, I could just uh, note all of my codings without messing with the coatings, which is great. Now I put this little bridge piece there so I can know if I'm actually moving. And that, oh, okay, yeah, there's a little part to where I forgot. That was, a, that was an equal sign. That was supposed to be a line, a dash. That's the sad part. <laughs> I finally remembered. I wonder if I go back into code. Yeah, I ended up changing this too. Because this was an X for the longest if you guys were watching the video closely. And I changed this to a Y first. Then I figured out that this was an equal and not a dash. So if you mess up on like any little points inside of your inside of your coding, the whole thing will not work. And sometimes it won't even pop up an error too. So make sure to always recheck your coding. I've learned that firsthand and that's the first lesson of my Unity experience. <laughs> well, the more I know now. So with that said, I'm gonna end it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed me suffering coding for like, I don't know, like a, f eh, probably like a few hours. This was around the time where I was supposed to be asleep. And my dumb dumb self stayed up oh yeah there's a time skip as you guys can see at the bottom <laughs> bottom right it was i was at like 5 p.m then it jumped up to 7 30 <laughs> for this video i think it was all in the same day too that's the hilarious part and then i try the coding without you know stuff it, it probably looped over twice because I was speeding up the video by mistake. But yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, all this was in the same day. That's actually hilarious. So you guys see how long it took me to figure out the coding before I actually went to bed this day. <laughs> so tomorrow I will be adding animations through uh, Game Dev Experiments uh, Episode 2 video. I'll casually be following alone over time. But yeah. Hey, 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 you. Nobody told you to start again. But yeah, with that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, you all have a lovely day. Peace out.